and welcome back everybody. I'm Dan and you're watching Plant Abundance on YouTube. Well, it's March 15th, which means it's our last frost date. The rain barrels are full and I'm about to harvest some of this rainwater and mix in some nutrient and do some foliar feeding throughout the garden. The fertilizer I'll be using today is a fish and guano blend. This 32 ounce bottle conveniently has a measuring scale on the side so you can pour out just the right amount. The directions on the packaging call for a half ounce of product per one gallon of water and I'm using a two gallon pump sprayer. I probably added more like two ounces to this batch but that's just fine. To apply this foliar feeding I'm going to be using this automatic electric pump sprayer. Foliar feeding can be done for both your edible and ornamental crops. It's best to apply your spray early in the morning as the sun is beginning to rise or later in the evening as it's beginning to set. You want to avoid applying the spray during the midday when the sun is at its peak. Doing so can cause your plant stress and it will not be beneficial. It's also best to apply your spray when the temperatures outside are in between 50 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll notice the pump on this electric sprayer will continue to cycle. Every time the pressure drops to a certain point, the pump kicks back in and pressurizes the tank once again. It's very convenient and ergonomic when compared to your traditional manual pump sprayer. Now it's just fine to spray down the entire plant, flowers and all, but it's going to be best to focus your spray on the underside of the leaves of all your terrestrial plants or land plants as that's where the stomata is located. These are like the pores of the plant that uptake nutrients and transfer it throughout the entire structure of the plant all the way down to the root zone. With that being said, the rest of the plant will also absorb some of these nutrients through the epidermis layer. So I like to go ahead and soak the entire plant down. The only caveat is to try to avoid foliar feeding within about five days prior to when you plan on harvesting your produce. Personally, I'm a big fan of washing all the produce that we harvest from the garden, regardless of when it was that I last fertilized. You see, we've got a whole lot of birds that make their way into our garden, doing their business, if you know what I mean, as well as dust, dirt, and other contaminants that can make their way onto the outside surface of your leaves and the skin of your fruits and veg. So I say go ahead and give it a wash. So I just walk around my garden and literally spray down every plant in sight. In my experience, the absolute best time to apply this to your fruit trees is just when they begin to awaken from dormancy and push out their new green leaves. Foliar feeding isn't just about supplying your plants with adequate nutrition. It's about building resilience in your plant, added strength to fight against pest, disease, or inclement weather. It can also provide larger fruits and a more abundant harvest. One of my favorite parts about foliar feeding 
is the immediate reaction that you get from your plants. You'll especially notice this if you have a plant that's looking a little droopy. Give it a little spritz of fish and guano and watch it spring back to life right before your eyes. As you can see, a little product goes a long way. I've already treated dozens of plants here. You know, the best part about this technique that I'm sharing with you today is it's extremely cost effective. At 32 ounces, if you follow the guideline, you'd be able to fill up a two gallon pump sprayer 16 times. That really is a tremendous value and a wonderful investment into your garden. So I hope that if you haven't yet tried your hand at foliar feeding your garden, that you give it a try. It's well worth it. Trust me when I tell you, I wouldn't put the time and effort into this if it didn't work and provide results. As always, I'll leave some pertinent links down below this video in the description box to some of the products that I used in today's video, as well as some other videos related to the same subject, so you might want to check that out. So with that, my friends, I thank you all for watching. Have yourself a great rest of the day. I hope this video finds you and finds you well, out in the world and out in your garden, planting more abundance in your life. Take care, everybody. I'll be talking to you again soon.